I smoked three breasts last night. Let's go. Episode 101 of the Super Mega Podcast. Here we are. Episode 101 of the Super Mega Podcast. Hell yeah, guys. Uh, it's not 100 anymore. It's 101. So, uh, wow, 101. That is a... Zoe 101 was a lot show, of episodes. It? Was it Zoe 101? Zoe 101, man. Okay. I was just making sure. Just Remember? had to... Just, it just popped up in my brain. I was like, was it Zoe 101? Did they cancel that show because she got pregnant? I remember that was like the rumor in middle school. Didn't they keep it going after that she got pregnant, I thought? Uh, Dan Schneider got her pregnant. I mean, sh- Dan uh, Dan canceled the show. Because she got pregnant. <laughs> and uh, I remember like, she like didn't didn't she like confess her feelings for Gordo or something, whatever the dude's name was? That's from Lizzie McGuire. Who's like, well they all, all the shows are about some blonde chick with some curly headed brown hair. Yeah, dude. I mean, Gordo and that other dude who I think originally was a cast member on All That. Or something like something that. Something like that. But yeah, I yeah. mean, I mean, I I never watched Zoe. Well, I did occasionally if it was on TV. I I, I might have tuned in, but same. It wasn't really my show. I wasn't. I never those, watched like, Victorious. Oh yeah, that was past my time. I think that was like right. I think iCarly even was like I watched it, but it was that was kind of like the last show. Yeah. Where, like I wasn't fully invested. I was on and off because I was beginning to be disinterested by shows like that. That 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 was like as we were uh, dipping out of our Nickelodeon phase in life, you know. Yeah. Making sure your mic. Just making working. sure my mic is working. No, I think it is. It is. It's it's working. It's working. That's good. But yeah. Um. Holy shit, man. Uh, I I got a story to tell you. Okay, I'm ready. Um, I was at the grocery store the other night, <gasps> and no. Checking out next to me was Badger from Breaking Bad. And oh, I yeah, was like, you sent me a Snapchat of you shakingly taking a video of him walking away from a grocery store. He was he was very far away, and I was like, yo, Ryan, check it out, it's Badger. Which that you been, also... That could have been anyone, and you could I could have just lied, yeah. yeah. It was him, though. I stood at a crosswalk with him, and he was standing there. And also, you... Did he talk? He didn't. Yeah, I heard him in the grocery store, though. It was oh, him. Okay. And you also saw him at the grocery store one time, didn't you? Yes. That's so weird. We both ran into the same Breaking Bad actor at two separate grocery stores. That's crazy. He's probably like in this, like, he was in this huge show and like, you know, he's a character that everyone remembers, Badger and Skinny Pete, you know what I'm saying? You gotta love those guys, man. But they're they're just working actors. He's he's trying to find another, he's trying to find another Breaking Bad to get into. Get him on Super Mega, man. He'll be the third member of Super Mega. Are we not going to see him on Better Call Saul? Because that comes out soon. I imagine we will see him on Better Call Saul. I'm so excited. Season 4? Season 4 comes out in less than a month. Holy shit. It's already season 4. That's crazy. This is... Oh my god. Honestly, the thing about Better Call Saul, and sorry for you Better Call Saul, or for the people who don't watch it and who are like bored by this conversation, I'm going I'm to say something real quick. It's a... Uh, I'm shocked that they're now on season 4. And they're still so far away from the Breaking Bad timeline. I thought they it said it's gonna start merging. I think in this one or something. That's good. I, I yeah, I, I was. I thought that at least by like season three they would have already crossed over, but they're still years away from I, Breaking I, Bad. I really don't want them to drag out the seasons. But knowing Vince Gilligan, it seems like hopefully they just have a story they want to tell and they're just gonna tell it and be done with yeah, it, just like yeah. Breaking Bad. I hope they do that. I hope they don't drag it on for like. I mean, even if they did drag it on for like ten or eleven seasons, I have no doubts that they would be good. Yeah. Or bad. Like, I think that they would be excellent seasons still. Um, I think it could turn into pure mediocrity at some point, though. I, I, God, I hope not. I trust Vince Gilligan, and I trust the Breaking Bad writers, because, you know, they 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 make some good shit. Um, so I, I hope that they keep it up, and I, I really do enjoy Better Call Saul, and if you haven't seen it, uh, go watch it. I would suggest watching Breaking Bad first, though. But, I mean, you don't have to. You'll just get more of the references and more... Things because it's a prequel, or maybe kind of. if you watch the prequel, then all of a sudden you'll be like, "Oh, that's the guy from Break for Better Call Saul." Yeah, exactly, exactly. So you can watch it both ways, honestly. Look Whatever you want. Yeah, They're individually I, both good shows. Breaking Bad being the better of the two, though. Yeah, but I think Better Call Saul easily. Yeah, I think it, it has the potential to to maybe as it as it goes on, it might it might be able to to climb above Breaking Bad. If it gets good enough. Above Breaking Bad? I think it might I can't be able see to. That. I can't see that. Just because of just how iconic Breaking Bad was and the storytelling and stuff like that. How it was so kind of centered and it's, um, I can see it being near as good as Breaking Bad. But Breaking Bad is legitimate, like, television history. Oh, definitely. But I, I mean, saw, I don't think, will be television history. I think it'll be a good show that a lot of people missed out on. Yeah. Well, no, I'm not even talking in terms of history. I'm talking just in, like, my personal opinion. I think it... I think it has real potential to be better to me than Breaking Bad. Oh wow! I think that it. I mean, I already I love it so much. Like I love the feel of it. It's good. I just I I. 
No, I mean, there's been a lot of moments where I've been like, whoa, holy shit, wow, gadzooks. But just looking back at Breaking Bad and how many key moments there were, how everything was just moving and tying together, it just... mm, Well, as of right now, of course it's not better than Breaking Bad, but I, 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 fingers crossed that maybe it'll do that for me, we'll see. I I think the fourth season's gonna be some real good shit, though. I'm real excited. We'll see. Yeah. Hey, as as, as the time of this podcast being uh, aired... I am I'm currently driving from Santa Fe, New Mexico back to Los Angeles. So I'm on the road somewhere right now. So all you fresh listeners listening right now, I'm on the road. And I got Tucker staying at my place to watch my stupid cat. And yes, he has a gun, so don't try to break in. Tucker always has like three guns on him and it's really weird. Well, he keeps one um concealed carry um in like some holster. It's like a pants holster. He has like a he pants stitches, holster. He stitches holsters into his pants. Hey, it's he took the time to stitch like three or four holsters into every pair of pants, and he only wears those like big cargo pants with like a million pockets and zippers. Yeah, which are very unfashionable, by the way, Tucker. Um, and you probably should try some different pants. But I'm not here to judge his, his fashion. No, you just did. Well, yeah, I did. But I, I guess he needs room for those guns. So Tucker carries a lot of guns on him. So if you ever see Tucker in public, don't approach him because he he's he's real jumpy and he he's got a he's got a real wild trigger finger. So you know. Yeah, well, I mean, it's also, you know, stand your ground, right? Yeah, you know, if a fan comes and up California to California doesn't have stand your ground, but... But he, he'll still shoot you. So and if then someone he'll... breaks into your house and you shoot them and injure them, they have every right to sue you. Really? In California? I'm sure. Really? There's no stand your ground law in California. Oh, wow. We got that in, uh, in the South, in the I'm sure you could South. easily argue, like, hey, they broke into my house and they could have injured me. Yeah, well, I've heard those stories about, like... The robber, like someone was like breaking into someone's house and they like they broke through the roof. And yeah, like and then sued the person. Yeah, and won. you got to be a real shithead to do that. It's like I'm gonna break you gotta into be a someone's really house. Good lawyer, no, you get okay. Either you have to be a really good lawyer on that part, or the other lawyer has to be really fucking shitty at his job and thought that it was like, oh, we're gonna win this. And then, and then <laughs> imagine that you hire like a lawyer to defend you. It's like, yeah, this person broke into my house and hurt themselves, so now they're suing me. Uh, that this should be easy, and then your lawyer is so incompetent, you lose that case, and have to pay money to the person who was breaking into your house. That movie should be, uh, sorry, that should be turned into a movie. Oh, that'd be a great movie. It'd be like a good dark comedy. Bring back Brendan Fraser, put him in that, because he needs a role. I'd watch a Brendan Fraser movie. What? I'd watch a Brendan Fraser yeah, movie. Yeah, dude, I would still watch a Brendan Fraser movie. He's, he's gone out of Hollywood, he's been exiled. They, they cast him to some little island somewhere. He's got those sad eyes. He does, he's got those sad puppy dog eyes. Probably because his wife left him and took all his money. Yeah. That sucks. I feel so bad for Brendan Fraser. I just want to give him a big hug. Nothing says, haha, I win, than ripping someone's heart out of their chest and then s- taking all of their money. Yeah. Brendan, if you want to redeem yourself, man, come on our podcast. Hollywood will start hiring you how again, I promise. How are people allowed to be that shitty? Um, like, how come the law wasn't like, okay, that's just you're just being a dick? No. I don't know, man. I the judge know. wasn't like, okay, just just stop. You're being an asshole. Maybe, maybe, uh, you know what it could be? I, 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 I bet's what happened. The chicken. The judge knew that Brendan Fraser was coming in with his wife, and the judge was like, you know what, like, I, I need to make sure I know everything about Brendan Fraser in this case before I judge it. And, uh, you know, he was feeling Brendan's side, and then he watched Furry Vengeance the night before the, the hearing. And uh, Furry Vengeance left such a bad taste in his mouth that he gave the wife, like, all of his money and all the rights. Wasn't Furry Vengeance in retaliation of the whole divorce because it was him actually just trying to scrounge around and get money? Was it? I thought he, like, took the part because, like, he needed to get money any way he could to help, like, support both his kids and and his alimony. That's really sad. Well, no, I heard that he turned down doing a sequel to The Mummy to do Furry Vengeance. That's That's what I saw in that Looper video. Okay. And it was a it was a bad movie, man. And that's why apparently he got blacklisted from Hollywood was because he chose that role. And it was so bad that like he just doesn't get cast in things anymore because they're like, oh, he turned down the Mummy too to do well, this. He made several casting choices that were bad. Was George of the Jungle a bad casting choice for him? No, but it was bad for him not to be in George of the Jungle too. I know. Who was ca- who did they cast instead? Some dude, and they made a joke about it in the beginning. Fuck you it. might notice that Brendan Fraser isn't here, but that's because we didn't have enough money. Do they, now it's like a, it's funny looking back because it's like, oh, you did. Do yeah, they really no. do that? 
Yeah. That's a really, actually, that's a really funny self-aware <laughs> joke. Yeah. <laughs> like, just a state. Like, we didn't have enough money for Brendan Fraser. And his son was played by the kid who was in Two and a Half Men. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That later went on and was like, fuck this show. Didn't he become a rapper or something? Did he? I just... He did, he did something weird, I think. Like, I think the kid from Two and a Half Men went on to, like, do some, some goofy shit. I don't remember what it was, but... I mean, he went against Two and a Half Men and shit like that. Yeah. Remember when they replaced Charlie Sheen with Ashton Kutcher? I hear a dog barking. It's fine. It's just maybe. It's Layton's dog. Layton's dumb little stinky pooch is at the office today. And here we are trying to record a podcast. And what's going on? That dog is just the barking. Dog's yapping it up. Not just even yap, caring. Yap, yap. Not even trying to show us a little fucking damn respect. You know, little dogs, like little dog syndrome, that's a real thing, man. They were, were like little dogs think that they are like the toughest shit. Well, that's, it's just like, stop. It's like, just stop. What are you I doing? Can, I just kick you away. Get, get out of here. Like, I wouldn't mess with someone twice my size. Why? How do they have such, like, courage to do that? Like, the dog will be the size of a tea kettle, and will be, like, yapping at a beast, like, 20 times its size. Wouldn't that go against them, like, evolutionarily? They're... Maybe that's the, I mean, maybe it is the exact opposite into where it's, like, if they were just shrimpy little scaredy cats the whole time, they would be prey more often, but maybe other dogs, when they see it barking, it's like, what the fuck is going on here? Oh, yeah, that's true. Does it know something I don't? And they're like, oh, shit, I'm not going to fuck with this small chihuahua that's yapping at me. <laughs> But they're, it's just, they're just little yaps. They're like annoying little yaps. Well, Lego's got an annoying bark, too. It's very sharp. Oh, very it, it hurts the ears. Very piercing. It's like a dagger that's being thrown into my ear. I don't mind a bark where it's like uh, like, a, like a Labrador's. Yeah, like yeah. A, ooh, ooh. Those sharp barks and yaps, those are almost getting frustrating. The boop. Oh, the yeah. It's like, stop. D- does Lego ever bark and it just makes you, like, jump? Yeah. Well, like, during the night, if my neighbors come home late at night, and decide to be loud in their driveway because they're dumb idiots. <gasps> um, hot take. You should fight your neighbors, dude. Like, you'll hear Lego, he'll just be like... <laughs> oh, I remember that. I remember when we lived <laughs> together, he would do that. Like, if you were out of town. Yeah. And I was in the kitchen, like, making cereal, I'd just hear... <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's, it's like, like him, It's he's not committing to a bark. Yeah. <laughs> it's just him kind of, like... Testing the up. waters. Something's up. He's, di- he's dipping his feet in the waters of like, should I do a full bark? Like, mm, he's maybe. making he's himself like, known. I'm here, I'm here, I'm like, yes, Lego, and I'm pouring myself a bowl of Honey Nut Cheerios. <laughs> you want some? You'd see him stick his head out from like the closet area to peer at you. In the oh man, that was cute. When I Sometimes I just walk by and I just see him like looking, sticking his head out the closet, just like staring at me. I'm like, hey buddy, <laughs> man, I miss Lego. I haven't seen him in so long. You'll see him uh, tonight. Yeah, because he's coming over for hot dogs. Yeah. People are like, hot dogs again? No, we just recorded these two podcasts on the same day. Yeah. So, or... We could just say that the lore is, I go over to your place every single day for hot dogs. <laughs> yeah, I just grill up some hot dogs every, every day. day. Every I come over for day. hot dogs. I'm gonna I'm gonna head home a bit early so I can um, clean up grilling. my place. Dude, of course, clean up my place. Get some nice ingredients for those hot dogs. Man, I gotta I gotta clean up. I gotta do a deep clean of my place because it's been messy and I'll uh, show you I have a deep clean. Dude, what the hell? Anyways, I'm about to have six guys staying at my place. It's gonna be a sausage fest. Can I come? Yeah, of course. Can I come stay? If you Can want. Can I go come and stay too? That might be a little too much. What? I'll have a cat, a big a big dog with a lot of energy, and then seven other guys in my place. Banana and Lego got along. They did. B- okay, something that I noticed. Banana, even though he would swat at Lego, never hissed. Mm-mm. Or yeah, maybe, fun with them. maybe rarely hissed. I, ne- I, I personally never saw Banana hiss at I Lego. Saw, I saw it like... Twice, yeah, because I because I think Lego would like bite them a little too hard when they'd yeah. be playing, and then Banana would be like, "Hey, not cool." But they were playing, you know. It, it made Banana had some some active thing yeah. to keep there, and then Lego Lego just always looked like he was just just like, and Banana was like, oh, "I'm a kitch, I'm a kitch." <laughs> I know, yeah, yeah. You know, that was funny watching them play like that. Um, I remember like like, like they so my cat and Ryan's dog would like kind of like play with each other and they'd wrestle and they'd have a good but Lego time. Lego would stick Banana's whole head in his, his mouth. His entire head would end up in his mouth and Lego would just sit there with his head in his mouth. <laughs> yeah. And Banana just wouldn't give a shit. He'd, Banana's he'd, just like chilling. But I, I remember uh, I remember like sometimes Banana would come in my room and his whole head would just be like wet and all of his fur <laughs> would be sticking up on his head because it was all like wet because Lego would lick his head. Not as bad as Chica. Oh my god. Yeah. When we lived with Mark, Chica would just like go up and just like lick Banana's head <laughs> And it would like mat his fur, so it would get all hard. So like, even when like it dried off, it was just disgusting. Yeah, like like you know when a dog chews on like a stuffed animal, and then its fur gets all like matted and 
crunchy. That's what happened to Banana's head. Like, the fur on his head would get like that. I got Lego a new stuffed animal. Ooh! Yeah, it's a shark. It's a Ooh. bright blue shark. I'll have to see and it It's today. very tough. Because I have to get my boy some tough toys because he true. Even, like, the toughest shit I can find, he'll find a way to chew through it and rip it apart within a week. Yeah. Yeah, that's, he's got that, like, wolf yeah. instinct to just, like, rip things apart. Every time I take him to a groomer's, they're like, are you sure he's not part wolf? <laughs> and I'm like, ha, ah, no. I, um, I'm no, taking Nana to the groomer's on Monday to get him a little lion shave. Are you sure it's gonna happen? Because, like, okay. every groomer you go to is like, he's too much. So I took him to this one groomer, and they groomed him, and I, I took him- I like him. I took him back, and they're like, he's, sorry, I don't feel comfortable grooming him, he's too mean. And I'm like, okay, and she's like, well, it's only because there's one person here. So My thing is, like, cats are always- no I know! No cat likes to be fucking groomed What cat's just gonna let you hold it down and groom it? Like, cats aren't like dogs. Like, cats are gonna be assholes. So, I take Banana to this groomer's place. Well, okay, let me start from the beginning. I take him in, they groom him, um, and, uh, they don't do a very good job. He's like, yeah, sorry, his haircut might look bad. Anyway, it's gonna be this much. <laughs> and I was like, and they're also like, oh yeah, and we clipped his, uh, I told him to clip his nails and put, like, the little soft caps on so he yeah. can't scratch my furniture. I'm like, yeah, sorry, and if they fall out, they were hard to put on. Anyway, that'll be $300 or something like that. And I was like, what? So, for some reason, I still went back. And they scheduled me on the wrong day. So I come in, and they're like, sorry, man, we put you on the wrong day. I'm so sorry. So I got to take Banana home. And putting Banana into a carrier and driving him to Burbank. How do you put him in a carrier? What is that, what is that like? It is not easy. It sucks. It is not easy at all. So doing that is like an, a whole ordeal. Do you have to, so, like, throw something in there so he goes and chases mm, it? No, I have to, like, put the carrier kind of, like, facing upright, and then I kind of have to, like, bundle him up so, like, he can't... Because when I try to put him in, it'll s spread his legs out so he won't go in. Yeah. So I have to kind of, like, bundle his legs up so I can kind of slip him in. Um, but I bring him back the next time. They call me back, and they're like, Sorry, our other groomer went home. We were going to save him for the end, and now uh, I can't do it by myself. And I was like, <laughs> okay. So I go and I pick him up. Bring him back again. Sorry, the other person didn't show up, so you gotta come pick him up. Had to drive back, pick him up. Alright, so that's the third time. Yeah. I bring him back again. Sorry, I don't feel comfortable grooming him. He's a little too mean. You're gonna need to get sedatives from the vet. So I'm pissed off, but so, I'm like... So you go to the I vet. I go to the vet, which I have to take him to. So yeah. I'm having to drag him back and forth all these places, and he doesn't like that. He freaks out. He hisses and gets mad. I get him sedatives from the vet. I give him the sedatives one morning. I schedule another appointment. And every time I have to schedule a reappointment... Like, or every time I have to reschedule an appointment, it's not like the next day. It's like two weeks later yeah. that they can take me. I bring him back on sedatives. I get a call. Sorry, he's just, uh, I can't do it. And I'm like, okay, fuck you. I brought him in five times. You guys suck. <laughs> so I call another grooming place yesterday to schedule him. Like, hey, so I went to this other place and they're like, yeah, people come here all the time saying that place just won't groom their cats. We'll take any cat. And I was like, really? And he's like, yeah, like, I don't want to shit talk that place, but... They just don't really want I mean, to do. You, do you want to? Do you want to name them? I don't want to name drop them. Okay. They're pretty shitty, but I, I, I don't, I don't, I feel kind of bad name Might as dropping. Well keep like shitty a, businesses thriving. Yeah. Well, I, I just feel I don't want to. May, maybe they just have a shitty employee. I don't know. I, I feel bad. Like. Name I think after five them. times is the is where you can go. You know what? Maybe they're, it's they're not in, just the employee. They're, it's a it's a it's a place in Burbank. I'll say that. Okay. They're in Burbank, and I'll let other people deduct whatever they want. Um, I'm just get, always scared people are gonna like witch hunt and like leave a trillion yeah, bad Yelp reviews yeah. and like ruin some poor guy's business that didn't even know this was going on. The only time I think I used uh, my, I don't want to call it fame, notoriety probably is a better word, my notoriety online was against Ruby Tuesdays. <laughs> <laughs> of all the franchises, fucking Ruby Tuesdays. It pissed me off. I was out with, I told the story before, I was out getting lunch with my dad. My dad likes Ruby Tuesdays for some he reason. He loves Ruby Tuesdays. I don't know he wears, why. He wears the shirt like every time I see him. He has the Ruby Tuesday shirt on. He wears his big hat with that says Ruby Tuesdays he has the man. Tramp stamp tattoo. Yeah, the Ruby Tuesdays man hat. <laughs> yep. And so he likes the salad bar there. And actually, Ruby Tuesdays is what introduced me to eating salads. Really? Because I would cake it in bacon and cheese. <laughs> cake it in bacon and cheese? Yeah. Sounds disgusting. Just lettuce, bacon, and cheese, and then, Wait, like, what kind of Italian dressing. Like, shredded, right? Yeah. Okay. I thought... Like a slice of no, crap singles? No, for some reason, I was thinking of, like, the pump type of cheese. Like, you put on nachos. <laughs> like, just like... <laughs> no, Fuddruckers has that that you can squirt onto the yeah. fries, and it's delicious. But I was confusing it with that, and I was like, I'm imagining you just, like, just like lettuce, and then just pumping cheese no, onto but it. but we, we went to Ruby Tuesdays, and they didn't get to us... It was 20 minutes, 20 minutes has gone by and no one even got our drink order. 
And this is like several times I was going, hey, can someone, no one's gotten our order yet. They're like, yeah, 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 uh, I'll go get someone. And then they never got someone. And so I was pissed off. And then we went to Chili's instead. Nice, dude. Yeah. I, I think, I, uh-oh. Hold on, this mm? is a phone call. Ryan? You can't keep this one in, but, oh, sorry. It's from his attorney. Yeah. About the divorce stuff. Okay, yeah, so I'm being sued because some other guy named Ryan McGee says he placed a copyright on the name, so I'm going to have to deal with that. Might have to change my name, we'll see. But, That's okay, man. Yeah. It's, 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 it's happened to me, too. Yeah. Anyway. Um, what were we talking about? What were we talking about? Big pink hats. Big pink hats. <laughs> They're the, all the rage these days. Those big pink hats. <laughs> Anyways. Um, what were we actually talking about? Something Hot about dogs, our pets. Our pets. No pets. And then it turned into Ruby Tuesdays. Oh, yeah. Into Chili's. Then I went to Chili's. Chili's responded to me. I wish I could search up the at. I've never uh, eaten at a Chili's or Ruby Tuesdays. Um, and the only time I used... You haven't uh, eaten at a Chili's? I haven't, believe that's, it or not. That's actually surprising. I have. There was only How one. How about a macaroni grill? No, not macaroni what? grill. I've never even seen a macaroni grill. Damn. Yeah, I don't know if they even have those where I grew up. Probably not. I mean, there's... You've never been to... How many times have you been to Harbison? Like once in my life. Once or twice. I'm surprised. That's where, like... Well, never mind. Because I guess you just went to Dutch Square for your movie theater then? Because it's closer to downtown? I just stayed on campus. Um, well, when I didn't you, have a car. When you went to go see movies when you were on campus... I didn't, really. I would didn't. just go to, like, the Russell House... Theater to oh, see whatever they were when showing. they showed the out of focus showings of the movies that that were play. like that were four three that they stretched to cinema aspect so I, it made me incredibly nauseous. I went to go see like two movies there. I think one was the Iron Giant, of course, and then the other one was hey, like the Pokemon movie. I think we went to the two. same one. We might have. We might have. There's a there's there's a high possibility you and I actually have like made eye contact at some point. Here's the like, thing. Before we ever knew each before other. Before you and I ever s- first met or spoke or knew who the other person was, I think we sat in a movie theater together and watched The Iron Giant. Isn't <laughs> yeah. that weird? Was it Okay, I remember it was out of focus. It was, yeah. It yeah. was very out of focus. Is that just a projector? All they have to do is turn the they dial. Just, they, a and they don't know what they're doing. <laughs> they're <laughs> fucking idiots. But isn't that weird though? Like our paths crossed like yeah, it's Iron Giant related. <laughs> oh guys, make some fan art about this. Oh, sweet. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I'm not digging on anyone's fan art. I love all your fan art. It's amazing. Except you fucking shippers. Fuck you. Um, yeah. I'm just kidding. If you Go ahead. Do whatever you want. I, I don't Except control you. Except for those you. fucking lewds people have started doing. Yeah, people have been doing lewds of us. Like, gender bent lewds. Which, you know what? Go ahead. Feel free. I don't, I'm not going to stop you. They're pre- Some of them are actually pretty impressive, I do have to say. Don said he would draw you and I with, like, massive tits. Like, really realistically. Really? Yeah. So, uh, I'm, I'm interested to see what that's going to look like. I want to see someone do a drawing, like a really detailed, really good drawing of like, you know those movies where we're like hanging off of a cliff? Yeah. It's like that, but it's like we're very tiny hanging off of a bendy straw and we're about to go like fall into like a woman. Like a woman's vagina? Yeah. I'd like to see that movie poster. Honey, I, honey, I shrunk the funny YouTube movie. Honey, I gaped the kids. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> you realize what you just said? That could that that could impl- like be about their mouths. We're gonna say that that's about their mouths. <laughs> yeah, that's about their mouths. They're, they said something so shocking, the kids went. Oh, <laughs> their mouths. So their mouths, their were, mouths agape. were agape. Yes, that is that's what Ryan was talking about. Just to clarify. <laughs> I gaped the kid. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus F Christ. Did Jesus have a middle name? Because people always say Jesus H Christ. Where'd the H come from? What does that stand for? Henry? It wasn't even his fucking name. Jesus Henry it Christ. Jesus. That was his name in the Middle East was Jesus Henry Christ. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. His name was probably Shabalakata. It was, a uh, Shablu. It, it was Jesus. Je- Shablu. Jesus Harold Christ. <laughs> no, Jesus' real name was, uh, Yeshua, I think. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. That was his, like, Middle like Eastern name was Yeshua. <clears throat> Jesus, I don't even know where that came from. Were you I, saying Jesus' name or Jesus' the exclamation where you're like, Jesus, I don't know where that came from. Could be either one. It's up to your interpretation. What is like, I mean, where did these white names come from? Like Matthew, Luke, Henry, S- S- Stephen, like all these biblical names, Jesus. Like where did this come from? Like who changed the names to be these like random white dude names? Uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Because I, I remember I got in a debate with my dad once. I was like, you know, like that wasn't the real name. She's like, what do you mean? I'm like. Dad, you think there were dudes walking around the Middle East in like like two thousand years ago named Luke, John, and Matthew? Yes. 
And I'm like, no, they, they, they had like other names, I'm sure. So my mom is, so when I'm named after like Matthew from the Bible, it's like, I'm just named after some, some, some dude just gave these guys these names and that's what you named me was after. Was David a book in the Bible or was it just a character? I don't think it's a book of the Bible. David, go to the book of David. I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a book. Book of David. Is it? I'm David 2376. Might have been one of those short books. How did you get your name? Ryan. Uh, Were you named after something? My mom, mom really liking? liked a soap opera. Oh, that's right. And yeah. like one of the characters' names was Ryan. So I, I'm named after the fucking tax collector from the Bible. <laughs> why the tax collector? I don't know why my mom chose that. Um, oh, I just got a message from Sean, a.k.a. Jack Septicai, and he's in L.A. <gasps> oh, dude, he should come over tonight and eat hot dogs. Ooh. Dude. We, should we invite... You wanna you wanna invite him over for hot dogs? Yeah, I don't him, want to. Tell him he's invited. If you wanna if you wanna have some good hot dogs, God, yeah, how many hot dogs tonight. am I gonna have to make now? Jesus, there's so many. This was originally supposed to be a little small hot dog. I'm fest. sorry, I can not I, I don't have to I'm, not, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying like that's a lot of hot dogs. Hold on, I'm getting a phone call from Glendale, California. No, these hot dogs only take like two Hello? minutes on each side. What's going on? Sorry, uh, that was a call from my attorney because apparently I'm also being sued by someone with the same name. Matt Ryan Watson. Oh, no, not Ryan McGee. I mean, okay. super. Oh, okay. Matt Watson. got it. Got it. Got so, it. Uh, they want me to change my name, apparently. Uh, so I guess we'll have to deal with that one in court. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll we'll take care of it. Yeah. Uh, what were we talking about? We were talking about. Um, we were talking about this ad read. Chances are, Ryan, if you've listened to this podcast, which I know you have because you've been here for all 102 episodes, you've heard of Honey, the free browser add-on that finds and applies the best promo codes every time you shop. It may sound. Too good to be true. Matt, this is for episode 101. Is it 101? Isn't it? Ryan, you've listened to 101 episodes of this oh, podcast. Man. Okay. And it may sound too good to be true, so let's go over the facts. They also put the wrong form of two in the script. I'd like to point that out. First, you're probably wondering, how much money can Honey really save me? Turns out, Honey's already saved people over $800 million. Now, that doesn't mean that it saves you $800 million in your lifetime. It means that over, you know, the course of the company existing, Everyone it saved a total of $800 million collectively. Um, for the amount of people that, but like, if you use if you it. used honey for like, if you were immortal and you used honey for like, many millennia, and they still existed, you probably and, save like eight hundred yeah. million dollars. But at the same time, you know, it saves you money regardless. I mean, like, it, I think in I think yeah. within a course of a few years, yeah. you could definitely save yep. tens of tens of tens of dollars. You may also be thinking, honey doesn't work on sites that I shop at. The truth is, honey works on over thirty thousand sites even even amazon, amazon? even amazon whoa whoa so the, the big question how is honey free w what's the catch well there is no catch honey gets a small commission from sites where honey saves you money for it's always free in fact 10 million members trust honey to save them money every day and and how can we motivate our audience to to use honey matthew well, we should choose a couple of these talking points and rotate them in our spots. Oh, perfect. Ryan, I was trying to buy dog food because I love eating this stuff. I was going to buy some on uh, Amazon, and mm -hmm. I found that it was really pricey. And then I installed Honey. Guess what? I got, I saved so much money on the dog food, and I ate it. Cool. So yeah, there's no reason not to use Honey. It's always free and takes just two clicks to install. Add Honey to your browser for free right now at joinhoney.com slash megacast. What is that, Matt? That's joinhoney.com slash megacast. Now, let's go eat some dog food. It's we don't have it yet. Oh, oh. It's, they, they'll get it to us later. Okay. But, man, what an ad read that was, wasn't it, Ryan? Man. Yes. Anyway, what were we talking about? We were talking about um, how oh how J Jack funny, Septicai. yeah and how funny Jack Septicai is. You want to come to Ryan? That, sound, that sounded mean and bullying for a small. He's company. legitimately a funny and nice man. He is like the nicest. He's like a genuinely good person. And our channel artist Don. Go right, figure, I, right? I sent a message. Yeah, he's like the nicest dude ever. Except, I don't appreciate how much he offers us cocaine when we hang out. Because I, we've told him before, not into it. You know, that's a oh, hard wait, drug. We don't uh, want to do that. Can you, can, can you tell him to, because he does this every now and then, and I just want to make sure that he's just not going to do it this time. Can you tell him not to show up in blackface this time? Yes, I need to, because that was really awkward last time. Yeah. Okay, all right, I told it's him. It's just that. 
John and Maria didn't like it too much. Yeah, and the whole thing is like, dude, you're in L.A. Maybe you can do that like in in Scotland or wherever you live, but like yeah. here you can't do that. That's Anyways, not. Anyways, I'm, I'm gonna cut this out because I don't want them to get in trouble. Yeah. Okay. Well. Um. Anyway, we were talking about uh. Cooking hot dogs. For, we got to talk about this on every podcast. Now. <laughs> hot dogs God, we're just place. grilling up some hot dogs, Fucking man. Cooking up some Franks, bro. Woo! Cooking up some Franks. Am I going to be the only one there enjoying cigarettes? I'm yes. not going to smoke any cigarettes. Don't say hot dogs. Get in here. Tucker, Get in here. Tucker, Get the Tucker. fuck in here, Tucker. 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 God, do I got to go get him? No, yeah, I see him walking around Tucker, like a pompous he hears little us. fucking douchebag. Here he comes. Fuck you, Tucker, you fucking he's asshole. Like, he's like, I'm going to pretend not to hear him. Oh, here he comes. I, I mean, that mic's not turned on. I don't know whose water I just drank out of. Tucker, get in here. Some... Get in here. Tucker, tu- fuck. get the Tucker, fuck in here, Tucker. Turn on that mic and get in here. Go turn on one of the mics and get in here. What are you talking about? Just go turn on a mic. Do yeah, you, yeah, you he don't does. know how to turn on a microphone, Mr. To fucking the camera you know how to work the You know how to work the mixer, Tucker. You need me to sign into my Adobe account. Yeah, but don't you want to sit down here and talk real quick before that happens? Tucker, please, we need please. time to fill on this we podcast. Need, we we don't know what we're doing. Tucker, Tucker, people love it when you come on the podcast. Tucker, I heard you got recognized. There's a five there's times buttons that are that are glowing yellow and they say on and you no, press one. Please, he's gonna fuck it up. Please, don't, before don't he fucks touch, it up, he's gonna start touch touching everything. He's gonna fuck it up. Which one do you like click? Is this, this one? Did he fuck it up yet, Matt? How was I supposed to know that that's the right button? Let me make sure. Just tap it. It's just dangling right now. Okay, that's it, Tucker. Here's your microphone. It's just dangling. Have a seat. Yeah, well, you know. We were just talking about some some hot dogs. Are you excited for hot dogs hot tonight? Hot diggity dogs. Yeah, but... Just hold, hold it. Just hold I'm it like a microphone. For, hold on. But then, then, then tilt it a little up. What are you doing? I don't know. He's playing with the microphone. He's, he's slapping it around. There you go, that Is, works. Are we gonna Here hear we go. like jingle jangle? Well, you just heard a lot of jingle jangle, but now you're not gonna hear it because I'm done jingle jangle. Yeah, okay. Well, welcome back to Super Mega Cast. Hey, Doctor. here can, I am. Can you tell me what special hot dogs I have to buy for you? Oh man, anything that's not beef, please. Or pork. Well, I, I, pork is fine. Matt but said I was you just, didn't eat pork. You said you didn't eat beef or pork. Sometimes. Sometimes I don't eat pork. I try to cut down on my pork, but I do eat pork. You haven't seen me eat pork in recent days? I mean, I Did eat you have pork a pork taco? I have a, yeah, I have pork tacos. Aren't whenever. they good? They're great. Yeah, they are good. They taste fantastic. Yeah. What's, um, the, what's the deal with pork? What's, what's the, the deal, deal with pork? pork? There we go. Anyway. It's a new super mega cast. <laughs> Every episode we talk about what's the deal with pork. <laughs> Seriously, guys, what is the deal it's with so pork? So chewy. What's going on it's, there? It's chewy. Delicious. How do they do it? You know what I had uh, like two weeks ago? You didn't even tell me. You didn't tell I, me. I had. Do they make chicken hot dogs? It was a bur- wait, 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 wait. They do make they chicken, do make chicken hot, dog. hot dogs. They're really good. They, they like better special than... spices in them. They're awesome. Yo, I can I can go for a chicken hot dog. Okay, I'll buy you both chicken hot dogs. Every time I sit down on this couch with you guys, we start talking about food. What's going on? Start talking about food every time I come on well, here. Because we were talking about food, Tucker. Yeah, and I popped this in. This whole podcast, we've just been talking about fucking food cooking hot time? dogs at Ryan's house. Really? We've been talking about fucking hot well, dogs. Exciting. We've been talking about cooking hot dogs. Can yeah. you can you title this episode "Cooking Hot Dogs at Ryan's House"? <laughs> <Yeah>. Two. <laughs> cooking hot dogs at Ryan's house, part two. Please. The the uh, other episode technically is called it's called the hundredth episode something, but. Secretly, guys, it's also called Cooking Hot Dogs at Ryan's House Part 1. If I, na- if I mm. title it Part 2, it's not going to get any less views than it would have gotten. It's a, yeah. It's, yeah, it's same. called Cooking Hot Dogs. Well, actually, that's not true. Part People King- might be like, well, mm. I'm not going to watch this because I haven't seen Part uh, 1. Yep. Oh, true. Yeah. So just call it Cooking Hot Dogs yeah. at Ryan's House. You're going to have okay. to axe that whole plan. That's a bummer. Well, uh... I had this burrito like a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, that was a chicharron burrito. So it was... Say that again? It was chicharron. Um, yeah, it's like chicharron. Uh, the pork skins. Yeah, and that was the meat. Chicharron in the is burrito. Good. It was it was a pork skin burrito. It was an interesting experience. I to be honest, I don't know if I do it again because it was like really like I really like soft meat in in a burrito and various you know food items, sandwiches, tacos, the like. But it was fun, you know. Yeah, carne asada. Yeah. Love some. You know, I had a I had some weird kind of a uh, meat recently that was like head. Of some kind of animal, and I didn't like it. The head of a pig or something—I don't remember. The head of a pig, might have been pig head. Yeah. Um, but they do that. It's really good. Do you guys what know how to roll like? your R's? Can you guys roll your R's? I can't. <laughs> My mom was trying to tell me like, "Oh no, that's genetic," and I'm like, "No, it's not." Is it not? I've is whistling genetic? Rolling your R's is like a learned. Can you guys thing. teach <laughs> me how to fucking whistle? You, you can't. Whistle I can't at whistle. Because here's the thing well, about. Wait, 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 Matt. How do you whistle? Do you use your? This is. Okay, Matt. You, you whistle okay. real quick. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now Tucker, you go. I don't whistle like everyone else. I use my teeth. That's not exactly my lips. that's what I was gonna say. Is I do is, the same thing. This is me trying. Well, wait, are you using your teeth or your lips? Most people whistle with their yeah. lips, but I can't do that, so I have yeah. to use my teeth. How do you use your teeth? You kind of you put your tongue up against your your top teeth, almost and, touching the top of your teeth, yeah. but not quite. And it's kind of like yeah, it's hard to explain like the shape of your tongue because everyone's is different. But I think I curl my tongue a little bit. Yeah, I curl my tongue too. But but Ryan, you just need to start doing it nonstop. It's gonna be annoying for everyone around you, but you just do it for the rest of the podcast. It. You do for it. the rest of the yeah, podcast. Yeah, yeah. Just practice whistling. It's exactly. <laughs> just me in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Tucker and I have a conversation. So, uh, yeah, man, uh, tell me how your week was, man. Hey man, it was, it was pretty fucking good, man. Yeah. Uh, I've been trying to clean up. Anime Expo was really busy. Oh, I've been yeah. trying to clean up my place. I heard I had you a fruit uh, fly infestation. Oh yeah yeah yeah. I got rid of it though. They're all gone. I heard you got a bidet. I did get a bidet. I wanted to uh, spray water on my little bum bum, and I do love it. It's great. Is it, is it warm and pleasant? I did. I saved up for a while, and I bought myself a bidet. It feels great on my prostate. Amen, brother. Is this really going to happen? <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting lightheaded. Are you getting yeah, dizzy? I'm getting pretty fucking you want some water? I'm good, man. I'm good. We should see how, lo how long it takes Ryan to practice whistling before he passes out. <laughs> You can't whistle, dude. You'll learn, man. Yeah. You, know, like, Your you time just will gotta come. keep trying. Really? I'm fucking 24. I can't whistle. Your time will come, my friend. You just, yeah, you just gotta spend a little oh, time man. on it. And it's gonna be beautiful. You know a video I watched? Uh, I showed Don this weekend. That Mexicans none of go to Hal Franco? No. Uh, I did show Treat him that. Yourself but, too? Uh, I showed him Max's Grand Adventure. <laughs> Remember that video? Yep. That everyone on the internet wants to see, but no one has a copy of. Except for like th me and Ross and like two other people. What is what is this? It's it was this guy made a, a video on YouTube ages ago in like 2009 where he like him and his girlfriend like go to Minecraft and have this adventure and he like green screened himself into Minecraft and it's like wait did he take down the videos? Yeah yeah he took it down from everywhere um and like nobody has a copy of it but everybody wants to see it because we talked about it on like Doodle Dudes and I we uh, Super Mega and I think Oni Plays mentioned it so it's like Whoa. like a lot of people have been dying to see this video and people like quote it and stuff even though they haven't seen it but I do have a copy and I watched it again I showed Don this weekend so Don has been in, indoctrinated into the club it's like a 9 minute video Ryan and I have seen it's it It's really good. We should show you Tucker because yeah. I'm not going to lie dude he green screen like at least the angles the green screen's not good but the angles that he matches up oh, with Oh, like, he spent the, a lot of time like trying to the get the camera yeah, right, yeah. It, it's pretty good. Wow. Um, the story makes absolutely no sense, though. What? what are you I mean, talking about? It's a great story. Did you Maybe it's it? just too complicated for you to follow, man. Ooh. What if it really is? Like, we're making fun of it, but it's actually, like, it, it is a <laughs> masterpiece of a story that we're just not getting. He sends so. you, like, a 100-page script that they condense down to the nine-minute video. I want to know, like, like, what... He had to sit down and type this script... Um, and then call his girlfriend over to be in it. Well, my, my favorite thing is like the beginning. I'll, I'll tell you how the beginning goes. It starts with some like inspirational music and it shows him at his computer playing Minecraft. And then like a very awkward close up of his face and he goes, Minecraft ready. Or what does he say? He's like, Minecraft world ready. And then Eminem, then his Roblox friend walks up. Like he like green screens like a Roblox character and to be, to be his friend that he like betrays. So. Mm. It's a big, a it's a big story. It's a big production. Um, maybe we could remake it. Who's the guy that made the real life SpongeBob? Oh yeah, dude. Who's that guy? He commented on an episode of Super Mega Cast after horrifying. we talked about him. It's really good, dude. This it's guy, real... this guy made like a video SpongeBob where SpongeBob like, and Patrick go to real life. Yeah, they come into like, real life, like Kentucky or whatever. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. But no, no, no. Like, what are they? Are they little no, characters no, they're, they're, that they hold on like puppets? Them. Or are they? No, they're, they're, he animates. They're them. cartoons. With, yeah, with they're like cartoons, the puppet tools. But they're in oh, real life. Oh, I thought you meant like he created uh, costumes that they wore together. That would be horrifying. Let me show Tucker the clip. We need to watch SpongeBob. It'd be like Shrek the Musical. Yeah. Have the musical? Have you not seen Shrek the musical though? I have spent uh, as much time as I needed. I've seen on Shrek I've the seen all of it. I've seen it all the way through. <laughs> and I think you should. Too, Did you Tucker. love it? It was it a heart it felt it was an experience. You know, God damn say. it, dude. What happened? SpongeBob in real life? This dude got some fucking views on this. How many views oh. does he have? All right, episode one, 66 million. Jesus. Episode two, what? 60 million. <laughs> Good God. That's Jesus so Christ, impressive. Jonathan Chase. He's doing okay, great. But I, the Get reason on. I like this uh, video is because, like, the scene where he, like, drive, where he <laughs> yep. introduces himself, he, like, he drives up in his mom's, like, minivan, <laughs> and, like, he puts this, like, epic, 
dubstep music to make it like a really dramatic opening. <laughs> and then it's like, have a nice you gotta, day. Wait, you gotta right. press How are you today? That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me pull this shit up. Yeah. We gotta watch this. Like, all, all, nothing but love and respect to this guy because he fucking, he fucking he put did an it, effort. Man. Dude, he, he had, shadows in and, and shit. And he probably made a shit ton of money off oh. of these, man. Jesus Christ. I mean, if copyright infringement didn't. Okay, here Get it is. It. Here it is, ready? He drives up and it's like... And he like shows himself driving. Hold on. <laughs> How are you today? Oh, man. He watches the four-wheelers passing by. He looks like Bo Burnham. He's got that, like, slight smirk He on looks like face. a young Bo Burnham, doesn't he? Maybe this is Bo Burnham, dude. That's I how it got so many views. Yeah, now now he's making a A24 movie, which I'm excited to see. I think it comes out this week. What's it grade? Called? Yeah, eighth grade. Eighth grade. Well, I, I don't know anything about that. I gotta find out. Yeah. A24 like, is, like, nonstop awesome shit. They make some good fucking movies. There's some Pretty trailers recently yeah. that I've seen that I'm like... I want to see Hot before. Summer Nights and Beautiful Boy, both Timothy Chalamet movies that look really good. Yeah, Timothy, Timothy, bring it back. I love him. He's a great actor. To the U.S. Is he? What? Where is he from? Chalamet is a French name. Right, so. but but that doesn't like. I don't know, Tucker. Do you expect me to know the yes. Wikipedia page of every actor? Yes. I mean. I mean, if you're going to talk about him, at least know what you're talking about. Don't I don't know where he's from. I'm sorry, but I like hey, him. Hey, if you're you going to talk about random things on a podcast, yep. at least make sure you're a fucking expert on the topic. Make sure you <laughs> read the book. Tucker, why don't you write a fucking book, dude, about Fortnite? <laughs> why don't you play Fortnite, Tucker? Uh, because we're not, because you we don't hang PUBG. out enough in the last two what weeks for us to play Fortnite. Even change it. I want to play, change I would be happy to play Fortnite with you. We tried to play Fortnite, and then we didn't play it. We didn't like it. Yeah, we didn't have a good time. But you and I would have fun if we played Save I, the World. I'm happy to do that. Why don't we do it tonight? Because there's a lot of people coming over. So what? Us. Maybe we could do it later. You're going to be that guy who invites guests over and then just yeah. sits down and plays And then Fortnite we're going to lock the door. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are, gonna, are you going to lock the door? We're not going to of my place? <clears throat> no. <laughs> no. Can you guys, like, shake your jowls and into the mic? Like, no. Yeah, watch. Okay, you, okay, Matt, you do it again. That hurts my head, So you man. hear it? Here, here's Matt jiggling his jowls. Tucker, your turn. No, no, that wasn't good. That was, that was terrible. I didn't go, like it. Yeah, no, I know. I cheated. Your, I cheated. I cheated. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You gotta be loose. You gotta be loose. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Now here's. Nice. There's, there's mine. That was nice. Those Ryan, I like yours the best. Thank you. Ryan's was definitely the best. Thank you, guys. That was oh, very man. sweet. Ryan, your hair looks fucking sick these days. You know? <laughs> Thanks. Like the way you've been putting it back looks fucking tight. I need to man. go get it done soon. Like thinned <sighs> out? Whatever it needs to do to not be as fucking whatever gonna, this is. Can I yeah, go with you? Yeah, you just you? need to get it like thinned out. I would like to go and get like a proper cut. I need you one should, of You and I should go together. Yeah, that'd be Yo, wonderful. we should all go because I need to yeah, get Yeah, but it's the same out. person that I want to get and I, it wouldn't be at the same time. You want to get my person? I want to get, yeah. Okay, yeah. I want to get Lacey Green. Lacey, baby. Lacey she cuts hair Green. now. She's great. She, I forgot I forgot her name. She works, at, she works at Frenchie's in Burbank. The cat place where... Nice, dude! Ryan just did a little toot toot. <laughs> a little toot toot on his boot boot. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm not going to hold it in because then it's going to smell even more because it, it festers. Is that how it works? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Do you know that Ryan doesn't actually fart most of the time? He has a little, like, fart. I put a whoopee cushion inside of my yeah. asshole. I wouldn't be surprised with how, <laughs> like, bodacious some of them are. Bodacious. Like, the, what an adjective to describe a fart, dude. That's the only way to describe them. The, the, the fucking, like, Well, they're loud, juicy. They're decibel they're, breaking. They're, they're curvy. They're uh, strong, independent farts that don't need no sphincter. That's true. Like, they fucking break the, the sound barrier. Yep. Like, I, like, I, like, Aaron and I died laughing when you did that shit in Japan. Like, it was unreal. When we were at Anime Expo, I'd, I'd always let out a big one. I know. When we were signing things with fans, you'd just look over me and be like, sorry, I didn't mean to. <laughs> and I'd be like, wow, it smells really bad. But I, but I guarantee, like, none of them were like, oh, that was Ryan. They're probably like, oh, it's probably some, someone in line. Like, yeah. no one would actually think it's like, oh, that's that, the guy signing my stuff is the one farting. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go try and guess your password, Matt. To my Adobe account? Can you just go help him out? I'll keep him entertained. Okay, keep the keep the audience entertained uh, while I... Tucker's fiddling with the mic. Okay. okay. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to them about... What, what do gamers want to hear about? Overwatch? Gamers Fortnite? Gamers want to hear about... What do they want to hear game. about? They want to hear about games? Fortnite, and they want to hear about that game everyone's been playing, Minesweeper. Okay, 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 okay. I'll talk about video right, games. I'll be back. Okay, guys, so the last video game I completed was Detroit Become Human. I was very disappointed. Um, I was having fun in the beginning, 
And then I realized there's a lot of choices that are non-choices or fake choices to where it's like it doesn't add anything or unlock anything, which was pretty stupid. But I guess, you know, world building, haha. Um, so there's that. Uh, Hammond came out on Overwatch recently. You know, the Wrecking Ball is, is what they're calling him. So very, it's going to be very interesting to see how he works into the comps. You know what I'm saying, gamers? Uh, who, what else? What else? Fortnite? You got, you got, um, uh, season five is out or something, um, maybe. And, um, uh, what other gaming news do I have for you? This is Ryan's gaming news gaming corner. Um, hey, Halo, Halo 3 is pretty good. That's one of my favorite games. Um, Fortnite is pretty, is, uh, is free. So go, uh, if you want to play Fortnite, you can do that. It's another game I've played recently. Oh, I played a Little Nightmares. It's a cute little game. Very easy, even for my stupid brain. If, if, if you don't like puzzle games because they confuse your tiny brain like they do mine, it's the perfect game for you because the puzzles are literally just go straight, find it, unlock it, bam, bada boom, you got it. You can download the DLC pack. Another game that I've played recently with a big group of people and friends, you know, people and friends, they're, they're separate. Um, it's the Jackbox Party Pack. I bought all four. I bought the four Mega Deluxe Edition. My favorite Jackbox game would definitely have to be Drawful. Drawful is very fun. Uh, the other one, um, uh, it's the Faker. It's the one with the Faker. That's a fun one. When you have to point or raise your hand and you have to lie your way out of it. That's that's a good one. We might play that tonight when we're grilling up some hot dogs. But enough about hot dogs. We're talking about games and Ryan's gaming gamer gamer gaming corner. Um, someone create a logo for that. And uh, you know that ends uh, Ryan's gaming gamer gamer corner. Sorry, uh, so so uh, they've been letting they've been letting these crackheads off the street just like chill in the office. I don't know if Aaron knows, but like they've just been coming in, and one of them pissed in the trash can and it overflowed. So they've all been trying to deal with that, and it's like dark piss. Like, the dude's dehydrated. So I was just out there. Also could be, um, if it's foamy, if it's too foamy. There was. There was foam. Okay. If, was it also um, kind of misty, hard, not clear, not... You couldn't it was see cloudy, yeah. It was okay. like if, cloudy if, if, if it's very yellow. cloudy and, like, foamy, that, that, that could be a sign of urinary, urinary tract infection, which could also mean he has a sexual sex, sexually transmitted disease. Really? Yeah. Well, guys, I'd like to offer some advice to the listeners who have sex. Um, so about all three of you. <laughs> if you notice your piss is hard to see through, like it's super misty and cloudy, you could have an S. Yeah, I'm just kidding. You know. It also that's a sign of if you have a if you like if you drink protein shakes. Uh, yeah. Protein makes your I don't want to cloudy. I don't want to make you overthink things whenever you piss. That's true. It's probably but, normal piss. Um, guys, some sex advice. After you have sex, make sure you pee because that is how you you get a, you can get a UTI if you don't pee after sex. So uh, mainly for girls though. Mainly for girls. Guys, guys rarely will get. But UTI. When guys get UTIs, that shit is bad. Have you yeah. seen the Green Mile? No. Uh, with Tom Hanks and the big guy that yes, never mind. I was thinking of Shawshank. Yeah, the Green Mile. I haven't seen. Remember, Shawshank, like Tom Hanks, like Mile. can't even walk because he has a UTI. And so he bad. pisses blood. Yeah. Whenever I see a movie and <gasps> someone's pissing and I see blood, and I'm like, ah, yikes! It bothers me, man. Jimmy John. Oh, I had a good idea for a, a porn. It's where a guy sticks like a Beyblade stick down his urethra, and then he grab grabs a shaft, and then he. He, he he goes he goes let him rip and he pulls the Beyblade stick out of his dick and his balls fly off into a Beyblade arena and they fight another dude's balls that does the same thing. It's gonna be in Sausage Party too, my man. <laughs> if someone wants to help, like do an animated of this or like help me produce this, but it has to like, be real really form. good. Like it has to like, be really like, good CG. Like we're talking like it has to look studio quality. You Fucking know? Finn Wolfhard's brother voices one of the uh, Nick Wolfhard. He voices uh, one of the characters on. He Beyblade. could do it. He he screamed, let him let it, let him rip for us really loudly. So maybe like he could he could play that character that rips the Beyblade Beyblade stick out of his dick and shoots his balls off into a Beyblade arena. And we could uh, superimpose uh, Finn's face onto the Beyblades. You want to put Finn's Finn's face on his brother's nuts? <laughs> Are we allowed to say that? <laughs> They're Beyblades. They're not nuts. They, they're they're Beyblades, so it's okay. It's yeah. perfectly acceptable. His nuts are Beyblades, but he doesn't even like, have nuts. They're, they're just not Beyblades. nuts. They are Beyblades for nuts. Yes, 
they're gonna drop Nick Wolfhard from the Beyblade <laughs> voice like gig. <laughs> We, we heard we heard about this podcast where like you were talked about with your nuts or something, so we got to drop you from the role. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Nick. Um, but yeah, dude. You ever just stick a can of Budweiser down your pants when your when your balls were getting chafed, Matt? Yeah, actually. Man, so that's what Jim would do <laughs> <laughs> when we when we when we were at the beach, and uh, when I was a little lad with my stepbrothers. And we, you know, the, that the, the, you know, the netting of the swimsuit and the, the ocean and everything like that, you know, when you when you rub your thighs together, you're walking and shit, it kind of gets a rash in there. Yeah. He, he would hand us a can of Budweiser and he'd tell us to stick it down our pants and to, you know, just just relieve some of the stress of our of our of our thigh and nut rash. Huh. I never got the. And then he'd take the can. Would he drink and, it? Oh yeah! First, you know, he did, he played a little game. Never mind. Uh, we'll talk about that later. I'm okay, sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, you have to remind them for episode two hundred to do that story. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Episode two hundred. Ryan, Ryan has to tell the Budweiser can story. <laughs> the Budweiser nuts story. I hope they remember. All right. Well, uh, you guys gotta remind us for episode two hundred. <laughs> anyway, um, episode. Okay. Dude, my my nuts never chafe from swimsuits. It's always the tip of my dick. Really? Yeah, it was not the tip of my dick that got you. You know, that's a sign of STD. I'm kidding. Is I'm everything gonna, a sign I'm just, of STD? I'm just going to say everything. So, like, God, dude, eventually my, everyone who's listening to the podcast will think they have an STD. I got these like, fucking, like, mosquito bites on my arm. Oh, it's you, a sign of STD. <laughs> Why can't you get AIDS from, like, a mosquito? You know, have you ever thought of that? Because they you suck know, blood. Although man. a lot of STDs are mistaken because, like, some people just think they're bug bites. Well, most STDs are mistakes. They are. Almost all of them are mistakes. I don't think anyone goes into coitus with the intention of grabbing an STD. Well, there are those, there, there, I, I've heard stories about those guys that like purposely give it to like 50 people, which if you do that, you're, well, like, the, AIDS, you're, the, right? you're like the worst like, type of person. People with HIV, like yeah. they don't tell people. Do you remember that guy who gave it to like 50 people because like he, he just, he wanted to give, he, I think he was mad he had it, so he wanted to give it to people. Wasn't so, there a guy that worked at a school that did that? Yeah, he gave like 50 people HIV and that guy... Is the worst piece of shit to ever exist. Like that is so fucking awful. I can't believe that. Yeah, and he's our president, which is weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man, I got piss right out of my penis. I'd like to see you guys explain the comedy in sexual harassment in our president. Real funny, guys. Real good one, guys. You know what? You can say whatever you want, but we're the only podcast that's really calling out Trump. So. uh... <laughs> No one else talks elsewhere. about Drumpf like we do. Nobody fucking owns Drumpf like we do. <laughs> fucking, uh, I got a Kofefe tattoo to own Drumpf. Ready to resign yet, Mr. President? <laughs> dude, I got, dude, I got a Make America Great Again hat, but it says Make America Stupid Again. <laughs> Uh-oh. I just fucking owned Drumpf. <laughs> <laughs> Rob Deerdeck? Back again? <laughs> it's me! I got a new saucy clip for you. Okay, so here's a dude on a skateboard. He hits his nuts. Wah! <laughs> I knew it, dude. I knew you were going to say that. Because I'm trying to think, like, what's a clip Rob Deerdeck would show? And he said, dude on a skateboard. And in my head, I was like, he hits his nuts. And you're like, he hits his nuts. And I was like, yes. <laughs> we're on the same same fucking Rob Deerdeck wavelength. <laughs> you got you to tune your brain to be on like like the Rob Deerdeck just, wavelength. Just, pfft, Rob Deerdeck? Is that okay. you? We're fucking roasting Rob Deerdeck left and right on this YouTube channel, man. <laughs> I hope he never finds it. Actually, I hope he does, and he invites us to his fantasy factory to play on skateboards. Then him and Charlemagne can roast us live. Him and Big Man. He's dead. Fuck. God damn it, I his forgot. His name's not Big Man, it's Big Black Man. Big Black Man? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's up? I'm Rob Deerdeck, and this is my friend Big Black Man. Oh man, well, his name was Big Black on the show. That's so weird. That was his title. It went Rob Deerdeck, and then there was one Big Black, or was it just Big? I think it was Big. No, I think it's Big Black. Like, like technically, this it was up before. Yeah, it was technically it's Big Black, but I think on the show they just put Big, right? I'm gonna look up the Rob and I'm gonna big look show? it up. We're gonna solve it right now. Rob and Big. We already did this on a podcast. Yeah, but I didn't see the intro, and I want to see what they put as the credit. The intro that's like, people let me tell you about my best friend. He's a warm-hearted man who loves me. Tell you. That also was in the TED trailer, remember? Like, um, there's like Mark Wahlberg was like smoking a bong or something, and that song was playing. Oh, this is just the fucking song. Where's the fucking opening? Ow! Here it is. I pinched my fucking back in the couch. 
Yep, just him. Just Rob Deerdeck. There he is. Yep, Rob Deerdeck. And then... What does it say? Big Black! Christopher Big Black, and then... Hold on. Christopher Big Black Boykin. Boykin? Boykin. Yo, I knew someone with that last name. Or like, Boykin. I knew someone with that last name. I used to work with them at uh, Chick-fil-A. So his name's Christopher Boykin, but his nickname is just Big Black. That is a... Uh, what, what a Why guy. Why is he gone now? Why is he gone? First Uncle Phil, now Big Black. First Uncle <laughs> Fungus. And Uncle One. <laughs> God damn it, rest in peace. Also, shout out to all the people at Anime Expo who asked me if I missed my two lovely uncles. I do every day. It's very tough still. And also, uh, um, what oh. else? Blonde Boys just hit three million views recently. Yeah, that's so awesome. Thank you guys so much for that. That means a ton. Uh, my two lovely uncles is almost at two million. Is it? It is, yeah. Damn. It's climbing up Do you think it's there. gonna overtake, uh, Blonde Boys? Maybe eventually. Eventually. Who knows? But we, we, we gotta drop some more music videos that might, uh, might outdo both of those. But, um... Guys, I think it's a good place to end this podcast. Uh, thank you so much for hanging with us while we've been doing less uploads. Um, because, you know, we've been going out of town so much. Ryan's out of town. I'm out of town. We I'm went going to out of town again to visit Anime family. Anime Expo. Like, there was so much. Uh, going out of town soon to visit family. Yeah, too. I think when this podcast comes out, you'll be gone. Yeah. But, guys, seriously, uh, thank you so much. Um, we have more shows on the way because recently we launched Drunk Drawing. You guys have loved that. Uh, thank you so much. So I think we might uh, – we'll address this more later, but I think we're gearing our channel more towards in the future doing a format kind of like this where it's Just like – Just more ver- like variety and not Let's Play folks. There's going to – we might – we're going to shift from – we used to have to – release a video every day which meant it was mainly just let's plays that yeah. we had to get out but now we're thinking about doing just a couple videos a week where it'll be like a podcast episode an episode of drunk drawing and then maybe like a gaming video or two like probably about two maybe like, of those there's a week. some other shows that we need to do you we know, have like some other movie shows review series that's coming out soon dude mm-hmm. the movie review's coming soon but we have some other show ideas that we want to kind of like uh trade around on the channel like put in different slots in different weeks uh, yeah. along with drunk drawing um, so if you guys have any show ideas or things you want to see us do, please let us know in the comments. Um, and uh, as as we become bigger and better and more badass, um, we uh, you might some notice some changes to the podcast, whether that be you know us us messing with some branding, the name of the name and everything like that. That might come shortly. We're just gonna be trying some stuff out because we got some ideas for the podcast that we think could make it a more enjoyable experience, specifically on YouTube, but also keep the same experience for people that listen to it as a podcast on iTunes and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, um but seriously, <clears throat> I've been like more happy doing this channel lately than I have been in like a really long time. And I, I really do we're like not forcing the, ourselves to just yeah, make content. It's not like super Well we are, but at the same time we're the content I have fun doing drunk I, drawing. I love I, I love doing drunk drawing. drawing. I love doing this podcast. There's there's some guy that got really butt hurt and I, I know his goal was for me to shout him out, but I but it was but it was something um it was crazy because at first it was just one comment that was like haha funny drunk and he was like it wasn't like he was pissed off about it because he wrote a long paragraph of like I'm tired of you guys. You thinking like, hell, oh, wow, being drunk is funny. Like this wasn't done on YouTube, oh, some odd years ago. Blah blah blah, stuff, stuff like that. But I, but I started scrolling down to read more comments because I'm like, oh, that's a negative comment. I'm just gonna read more comments. He commented like six or seven more times on other drunk drawing episodes, and sometimes twice on the same one with trying saying the same thing but in different ways. <laughs> of, and I'm like, dude. Relax. No, dude, I get Just chill out, man. I get the whole thing. It's like, oh, wow, no one's ever done a drunk show before. It's like, I totally get that. But (laughs) we're just doing this because it's fun. It's fun to get drunk, and we're so bad at drawing. We just thought it was a funny show idea to, like, just drink and draw. And we do three episodes in one recording session. Yeah. So it's like, it's not us (laughs) getting, like, drunk every week. Like, five days out of a week to put out this show or whatever. Yeah, we we do, like, three episodes a session. Yeah. And we record, like, we record every two weeks or so. Two or three weeks, yeah. So, um, but yeah, guys, check us out on iTunes, too. Uh, thank you so much for listening to this episode, and we'll see you next week for episode 102. I love you. Oh, shit, look at that, man. Made you look! God damn it! <laughs>